Hi guys, it's Graham here. Uh, welcome back to GS Vlogs. If this is your first time here, uh, thank you for coming and having a look at all my videos. Uh, this video today is about one of my radio control cars. It is about my Traxxas slash two wheel drive brushed with uh, onboard audio. So here is the car. Let me just move the camera down a little bit. Obviously you can't see my head now, so that's a, probably a good thing. So here is my Traxxas slash two-wheel drive onboard audio. I've had this for about four or five years now. Uh, I actually got it through a bonus, you know, company, through a job I was working at. And I've been after one of these for a little while. I think altogether it cost me about £260 at a time. Pardon me. And uh, basically I've uh, had this for quite a while and I've only ever had uh, to replace one thing on it which was a couple of parts of steering but the steering servo has now gone wrong but I have got a spare one for it which I will be replacing on it at some point in the near future. So if I lift up the body shell, as you can see the underneath, it's uh, waterproof, radio gear, uh, the steering servo is here, the battery goes in the middle there, ignore that, I've not taken it off yet. Um, the speakers are in the, are in the shell, one there and one here, and uh, you can turn the sound up and down on the car. So I'll give you a quick demo of that. Obviously, if you are listening on headphones, you may want to turn the volume down a little bit because I have got this thing at full blast. So I'll just turn the speed up, the radio gear on. Just connect the battery in. Ouch. Obviously, I'll turn it on. Just turn the power on. And the battery should be charged. Oh. So that was a quick demo of it. Um, the body shell does shake like anything. So basically, I will turn it on again and I will try and give you an idea of the shell actually moving around. Basically, as you've just seen twice, it does turn itself on and off after a little while if you don't do anything with it. Um, the car does run pretty well, it does about 30 plus mile an hour. Um, the one thing I'm not too keen on is the suspension is very soft. If you push, push it down the back end, it just goes down like that and just sits like that. But the car goes, uh, does go very well. Um, I've got no plans to upgrade, modify it or anything even more, even though I probably will in the future get new suspension springs for it. I can get them off eBay. So I'll replace them for some replace them for some stiffer springs and shocks all round. Um, obviously it is in fairly good condition as you can see. It has been obviously well used. That's the underneath of it. Uh, Traxxas are personally very good in my opinion. This is my has, has been my first electric uh, Traxxas. I've had um, nitro Traxxas cars before, which I ended up getting rid of because I was getting a bit fed up with having to um, reach in the thing every time you uh, you ran it up. Even though I didn't really tune, I just left it as it was, and it seemed to run okay. So that is. Basically, this is my Traxxas uh, slash two-wheel drive brushed with onboard audio. Uh, 
obviously you can turn the steering manually but steering doesn't actually work I am I am actually moving the steering as you can see and nothing is actually working so basically I'll just give you I'll give you one more demo of the sound So that is that. Uh, I will now power. I will now just click the battery. And here, obviously, the lead goes from the onboard audio controller to the speakers. You can turn the volume up, down, and up. Um, basically, fairly straightforward. Obviously, it does kill the battery quicker. Obviously, if you have the be if the speakers running. So um, the battery is the original battery that came with it. Just unplug that, it's a bit, a bit stiff. <coughs> um, as I said, I have only, I've actually replaced something on the on the front. Um, basically I've got, which I'll just try and show you now. Bear in a sec. So you can probably, hopefully you can see it there. It's the blue item there. Then I've replaced one on each side. Oh, there you go, that's a better view of it. So, um, yeah, obviously I replaced that a few years ago. And obviously you now the steering servo needs to be replaced. Obviously I have got a spare one. I bought the servo when I got my uh, Armour Senton 3S 4x4 BLX because obviously I wanted to, because I've been told that the steering servos on them can be, can go, so I bought another one, replacement one for that, and I bought replacement one, and I've now got one, and I've got one for this as well at the same time. So hopefully this will be going uh, up on the road again sometime in the near future, hopefully he says, depending on uh, work, so I'm actually out of work at the moment, unfortunately. So, um, that is basically it for this uh, video on this car. So obviously the first thing I want to say, one thing I would like to say is happy, happy new year for 2021 and let's hope it's a better one than 2020. So um, yeah, that is it from, uh, from me from, from this video. Uh, see you in the next one. Okay, cheers for now guys, bye.